the world remains in chaos. But, for once, it seems some of the turmoil may be coming out in our favour, if you know what I mean. Yet amidst all of this hurly and burly, there are still moments of quiet and peace. This is Lockdown Bar. Now this week's poem is entitled, Farewell to Munster. Farewell to you, men of Munster. I do not intend to remain, although it is hard for me to go away from you. I will make for the land of Illach now. Since I must go north, farewell to you before I depart. A heartfelt farewell from me to you before going to Derry, a decision already made. The men of Munster, of the fine houses, are a comely host, among which wine is short-lived. Warriors accustomed to bestowing their drinking horns, farewell from me to each one of them. There are few lands fit to be compared to the plain of Munster, of smoothest surface, since I am exchanging the province, I will not leave it without drinking its health. Since I am going to Tyrkon, farewell to the smooth green land of fair houses and swans, of scanty streams and of horses, the territory of the son of Machnia, of the generous houses. Farewell to its castles, which are worthy of love. Farewell to its low-voiced rivers. Farewell from me to its gold cups. Often a party of poets left it needing nothing. It is right to mention my friends, in whose huts I used to lie. I saw no ebbing of their understanding. Farewell to them from me before I go away. May Peter and Paul the Apostles bring me safe from the strength of my enemies to see heaven of the Nine Orders. May they be speaking for me against the demands of justice. For I feel this poem needs very little explanation. It is a simple and very pleasant goodbye to the land in which the poet grew up and to the friends he had had there. I hope you have enjoyed this poem. Thank you for watching.